You guys. You guys. I love you. We no. know. You guys. What are we waiting for? Again, we go. every single That's day. Lunches, really. Do we not? I know, I'm sorry. It's just all the waiting. It's just kind of fucking boring as shit. Why well, wait? Please. How many times? Finally, in the gooper. Oh, you mean cross her face? Cross her face. Oh, please. There is a person removing body parts for money right on the other side of the room divider. Language, schmanguage. Fuck, fucking, oh fuck, my fucking God. shit. Oh, my God. Susanna Marie, hell, you just stopped me. Tits, you were deprived of attention when you were Yeah, we've heard it all before. Take it out on the whole world, why don't you? Mm -hmm. yeah. So sad. So sad. But seriously, for once, just think about it. How in Amanda's name did we end up here? <sighs> We've been over this so many times I've lost count. That cool lady bought us from the gallery for a record-breaking sum of money, and she hung us between the bookshelves of her private rooms at her secluded mountain chalet. Then she died in that Ardvarkian shoelace thing, or uprising, or, or whatever it was, and we were then purchased at auction by Dr. Clark Smildren, a locally active plastic surgeon servicing the greater Glendale area. And here we are in his waiting room, as Amanda clearly intended for us, even if we are not capable of seeing her plans at this point in our spiritual development. We discussed this at length yesterday, Susan, in detail. Have you ever been on a bus? Seriously? You haven't, that's for sure. You've never even seen a bus, or even a bus stop, because none of us has, because we live in the lobby. We are no different than that mirrored disco ball-looking panther statue on the shelf over by the water cooler. I have too seen a bus stop. Bullshit. Bullshit. Fuck you both, I sure as shit have. Language! How, Susan? How have you seen something we have not also seen? Because I pay attention. The other day, that guy with all the tattoos and lumps on his head was reading that very magazine right there, and the article was all about the heated bus stops they have over in Norway. It was fascinating. A great many photographs of very comfortable-looking bus stops, and... <gasps> uh, but wait, and then... I remembered when we were being loaded into the van to come here eight years ago, and there was that lady who looked cold and tired sitting on a bench down the street from the auction house. I'm pretty damn sure that she was at a bus stop. If we had legs, we could go to the bus stop, and if we had money, we could get on the bus and go somewhere. Like where? Where do you want to go? I don't know. The moon. Like that poster on the inside of the restroom door that we see whenever somebody goes in there to pee in a cup. I don't think they're peeing in a cup in there. That, what would be the point? The restroom- Yes! The moon! You cannot take the bus to the moon. Maybe you cannot, but we can because we are at the bus stop. First stop, the moon. Second stop? Huh? Second stop? Come on, Yolanda. It's your turn. Think of one. Okay. Carson City, Nevada. Ooh, Carson City. I've heard tell they have a mighty fine federal mint there. See, you're not the only one who impolitely reads over people's shoulders.
Well, Carson City it is. I like it. I like it. Where do you want to go next, Susan? Yeah, Sue, where to next? You know where I'd go? Straight to hell! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Shazam, that was flippin' funny as hell. But really, Sue, where? You really want to know? Yes, yes really. really. Okay. I'm thinking we hop the number five wood row, and we catch it downtown, and then we switch over to the one, and we get that all over to the left side of the city, over, you know, you know, on the left, and then there's something over there, I think it's like a train station or something, we just, just get on that thing, and just take it, and continue taking it, and take it, and then pretty soon we'll get over to that, some other area, over by that blue part, and then we get out. And then we're gonna go west, and we keep going until we reach the ocean. The biggest body of water in the world. And then, we just get in the water. Let the salty sea dissolve all our horse glues and binder stuff and tape and backing board and whatnot. And we can all just float off on whatever currents we choose. Maybe I wash ashore in Kurashiki. Yolanda, you could end up in Puerto Escondido. What? What? You mean we would separate? Sue, no. We should stay together. It's scary and random out there. Okay, we stay together then. Just us in the sea, like that pirate queen a long time ago who once ruled the world. Or that hamburger chain that went rogue and started putting zebra meat in the burritos. Or the concept of time itself. Oh. Considering recent developments in string theory according to the May 2008 issue of Theoretical Physicist Quarterly, 